yo youtube welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can get high kill games in vigor but also to obtain outlander threat let's get into the video everyone wants high kill games in vigor but no one knows exactly what methods are involved in gunfights that lead to high kill games sometimes people get three kills and then end up dying it's because simple mistakes can cost you the match so let's get into some tips to keep in mind when in gunfights. The first tip I can give people is when you're in the lobby screen, you get one minute to assess everyone's loadout and what they're going to be bringing in for the match. What you need to do is assess which guns are the more dangerous guns and take notes on what kind of players are in that squad. If chasing high kills is your goal and that's all you care about is getting good kills, high kills, I cannot stress it enough guys, you need to bring multiple portable signals detectors. Now, in the off chance you might spawn like we did on screen right here now, a near the signals detector and you can go use that, but still you're going to need multiple portable signals detectors. If your goal is to chase high kills, you need to know where all the players are at all times in the outlines. Tip number two guys, is to highlight enemy markings on the map. For your teammate to also be aware of where each player is on the map this will benefit the two of you in the long run but also allow you to make a plan on which enemy squad to attack first tip number three listen out for sounds and listen for how long gunshots are going on for this will indicate to you that there's more than one player fighting as you can hear on screen there's multiple players shooting each other so at the start of the match we noticed that there was two squads of three players and by the sounds of it they're all up here fighting which leaves us with a golden opportunity tip number four guys know when to get involved in a fight as you can see here i'm running up to where all the fight is going on i take out one player then i see his second teammate I take him out and then i wait for the third player to push up as he does and i kill him i killed three players by myself that was a squad of three it's all about knowing when to take the fight guys as you can see, I waited until they were distracted with another gunfight and I successfully came in a third party that fight, picking myself up three kills. Tip number five, guys. Expect the unexpected. If you think there's a player around the area still, make sure that you bait the player out. As you can see, I thought no. there was a player still behind this rock, so I decided to go out and do some zigzagging and I baited one. him out. He came out and he tried to kill me. The tips that I just mentioned in this video, guys, have actually helped me become Outlander Threat multiple times and drop by kill games in the Outlands. If you've enjoyed today's video guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and come on over to my Twitch, leave me with a follow as I do stream on Twitch too. Peace.